I remember distinctly being out there in this, this old boat called the Pilot, and on this blue, deep blue sky, looking at this deep blue green water, me and this little kid with my bright orange life jacket. And for a while, uh, my old man kept me in the bait barrel so he'd know where I was. And there'd <clears throat> be a lot of people around there. And I'd just be looking into the water and they're catching all these fish. And finally, I graduated from the bait barrel to the fishing pole. And I, I, I caught, I remember distinctly, pulling out of the water this flipping fresh, brightly colored codfish with all of the pink purple gills and the, the bright eyes and the spots and speckles all over. And just this amazing color and, and life and, and on this, you know, just this just broad, broad, broad horizon. I mean, it really was the edge of the earth. Here we are on this water, a uh, little bit of land in sight, but not much, just this little sliver of land. And pulling this fish and I was like very excited. I said, I'll show this to my mother when I get home. And it was the end of the day, pretty dark, sort of dusk. And I had this old gray dead fish. All the color, all the life, all the light was gone. And all that excitement was gone. All the enthusiasm was gone. It was just like, oh, damn. His energy drained. It was gone. It wasn't there. So my parents always had colors and paints for us. So I, I took my poster paints and painted right on the fish, directly on the fish and brought that whole experience and, and, and that energy and enthusiasm to life. And I put the speckles in the spots and it was really exciting. And dragged it around for a few days and my mother made me throw it away. And that was another discouraging disappointment <laughs> for some reason. I understand now as a parent why she might do that, but I was heartbroken. So then I took my paper and I painted this idea of fish on paper. And that was like another light bulb went on. So this is like, this whole story is, is really a uh, whole creative process. It, it really embodies what that whole creative process is all about, having this experience, elevating it to this particular high, emotional high that I was on when I caught this fish, then, then being not as elevated, coming back down as, oh yeah, dead fish, no color. How am I going to deal with that? What, so I want, to, I, want, I want to keep that idea alive. And so then I figure out how to paint on the fish. That worked for a little while, and then it didn't. So it's always this, on this symbolic level of having an experience, taking it somewhere, making it work. How do I make it work? And so when I painted the fish on paper, that really made it work. And that was a really great... Uh, example of the whole creative process where you go through through the process sort of the aha moment where you where you had the experience and then and make it make it work and it's a whole new thing just like this is you know I'm there I am flying over this islands with waters going between these two bodies of land there's this yellow green spring color just all over the place and the currents are interacting and the clouds off there on the horizon and it's Pretty exciting, pretty nice, but you know what? I could take a picture and photograph. I, I capture some of that, but the enthusiasm, the emotional content is not there. I can intellectually tweak it up, compose it, do that sort of thing. But here I think I'm probably getting a little more real than the photograph. And I use that digital stuff. I use it as a way to, to kind of get to the essence. That's all I want to do. I don't care about the reality of it at all. I, I want to get to the, I mean, I do care, but it's not what I'm, not what I'm after at all. I'm not, look at this, this is a great interaction here. This is called quinacridone gold, and it just, sort of like seaweed on the edge of the water here, but it just really pops the color out here. <laughs> 